Uh, well, first, I'd like to uh, congratulate Utah Valley uh, and Coach Pope. Tremendous year. Uh, they played really well, played hard. Uh, first half, you know, we threw everything at them. They had 44 points, and we just stayed strong, and now I have to, uh, you know, give it to our guys again. Just like uh, last night against the good Seattle team, we came out in the second half very focused, uh, did a great job defensively, held them with 30 points. Um, just our guys never, never uh, stopped fighting. Everybody contributed. Um, so very proud of our guys just to stay in the focus for 40 minutes and uh, finding a way to move on. And that's been our whole uh, theme, just one game at a time. So we have one more to go. Your team's been in so many grinds and close finishes this season. Do you sense that they have a calmness in those kind of situations now? Well, I, you know, I think so. We've got, you know, our two leaders here. Uh, you know, obviously Michael has been uh, at Illinois, Power Five Conference. Same with uh, Carlos at Washington. Uh, these are two guys who are very tough, not only physically but mentally, have great uh, composure, have great uh, confidence in themselves. And uh, when you have two guys like that, you know, we struggled for a while when we lost Jared. And uh, uh, these two guys really picked it up after uh, we kind of rebounded for that. So, uh, yeah, I think it, it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, these two guys in, in, in particular than the other guys just stepping up. And, uh, but it's been uh, these two guys at the helm uh, here in the last half of the season uh, leading and scoring. And uh, the other guys are, are playing roles that uh, every good team have to have. Coach, you've waited a year to get back here and get another crack in New Mexico State. Now that that moment's in front of you, just how are you feeling? Well, we feel unbelievable. Uh, you know, we, uh, we did some great things last year, our first year in the conference. In uh, same situation, finished third behind Utah Valley. Uh, same as this year. Um, and again, this, this conference has gotten so much better uh, that we knew that uh, we could lose to anybody, but I also think we can beat anybody. Um, it's just coming down to it. So we're very fortunate to win these last two games against two very good teams. Uh, but this is what we've talked about all year long is uh, about uh, finding a way to get to the championship of the WAC tournament and giving ourselves a chance to uh, get to the big dance, which obviously we haven't been able to do just in our second year. So um, proud of our guys. We've had some ups and downs all year long, but we've never stopped fighting. So very happy that we have one more chance. We'll do the same thing we did last night. We'll get together and, and watch the film of tonight's game first and go over uh, uh, how we played, what we can get better at, what worked, uh, our, our lapses, our, our uh, mistakes. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll start preparing for uh, New Mexico State. Um, we know how they play. They are a tremendous team. Uh, I think they're, what, 29-4. and four. Uh, You know, we lost on a half-court buzzer beater at New Mexico State, uh, up one. And then we lost by three at home. So, you know, we know that uh, uh, our guys know that we can play with them. So, you know, that's what we'll go. I'll go home and, or to the hotel and watch the film and then uh, try to get some sleep and then wake up very early and start watching New Mexico State, meet with the coaches and spend the whole day uh, just preparing. And these guys will get up and uh, get some sleep and have breakfast. And then we'll go through our walkthrough. Obviously, we were uh, ready to go. We wanted to get out there and really take it to Utah Valley. They got us the last time we played them at their place. So that was a big one for us. But... Like Coach said, uh, kind of just got to forget about it now. We're on to the next one. Go in tonight, the film, tomorrow, prepare for it, and uh, kind of regroup and go on. New Mexico State's a really good team, obviously. So uh, we got some bad blood with it right now with them being us in the championship last year and then uh, losing two close games with them this year as well. So it's going to be a battle out there, and uh, we're going to be ready for it. Uh, like uh, Big Fink said, you know, just, you know, putting that game away and, you know, looking forward to the, the championship game. You know, it's one game at a time. We handled two games, so we got we know we got a big game ahead of us. So it's all about resting and, you know, whatever's on the scout, you know, executing it. Carlos, did you feel like you just never cooled out from last night? You were look, looking to, to score on different points on the floor, and, and were you battling through something there too? Look like you were... Uh, I, I had some great looks, you know, my teammates, you know, they put me in a position, you know, to, you know, execute and coach ran some great plays for me. And, you know, it was just once you're feeling it, the, the, the rim just get bigger. So yeah. that's what it felt like. Keep feeling it. <laughs> uh, Carlos, second straight 30 point game for you. Uh, as a guy who was here at Finley Prep before, is there something about being in Las Vegas that helps your game? Mm, I would say so. You know, um, I told the guys before we, uh, Play, you know, I, I played here my senior year against one, a, a really good team, and I had a really good game here. So I just felt, 
you know, it wasn't nothing new playing in here. It just felt good coming back in here and playing in the Orleans Arena. Michael, you've waited your whole college career just to be in this situation now that it's here. How are you feeling? And just what was it like that last minute or two of the game tonight? <laughs> yeah, obviously, playing the NCAA tournament is something uh, you dream of as a kid. And unfortunately, past four years at Illinois, I've been close, but I haven't been able to make it to the tournament. So uh, this is something we've worked at every, the whole, every day we've been since I've been here. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I came here is because I knew we'd have a chance to go to the tournament. So uh, uh, tomorrow's going to be a big game. But I can't get caught up in that. Just got to do what I can to uh, really execute, help this team win. And uh, if we can do what we're, we're capable of, hopefully uh, be a W on that. We did a great job on the Toulson uh, kids when we played them at home, and they really hurt us uh, at Utah Valley. So we knew that one of the keys was to stop uh, both those guys. And, and Jake's an unbelievable player. And uh, we're fortunate. We did a really good job against him, and Oscar's a big reason for that. And uh, that's why I keep telling Oscar all the time that uh, he's just got to really focus on uh, rebounding the basketball and becoming a defensive stopper. We lost Jared. That was our defensive stopper. And, and a guy like uh, Oscar has the, the tools and – uh, the ability to, to lock people down when he really focuses on it. And uh, I saw that the last two days when he really started focusing on stopping their best player. Coach, you mentioned Jared. How emotionally has he continued to lift you guys, even though he's out for the air with the knee? Well, I'm going to put him next to me because he's always coming over and whispering in my ear about plays. I mean, I finally had to tell him to shut up. So, But, no, I told him he's got a coach. He, that's, it's in his blood. The kids, uh, he loves basketball. He loves his teammates. Uh, you know, him and Matt uh, came here uh, with very little chance of going to the tournament. Um, and they knew that. And they helped us build a program at Grand Canyon. And that says a lot, a lot about both those kids. Uh, Jared got hurt right after he signed him. He blew out his ACL. Uh, recuperated that. Started his whole freshman year. The, 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 the year we won 27 games. And was having a fantastic year. His best year as a senior. And uh, was having his best practice. And he had a non-contact blowout of his knee. And uh, it never let him down. He's such a a good kid, and he's always been there for the guys. He's there for us. He's always talking. He's got great energy. He's always got uh, different things to say and, and suggestions. So uh, he's still a huge part of our team, and um, he's a big part of why we're here, even though he's not playing. Uh, Coach, you mentioned you have getting a second shot in New Mexico State. Um, you play them very tough. You outplay them for a large majority of stretches when you play them at, in Las Cruces. Does this year feel different going up against them, going the second time around? Uh, no, it doesn't feel different. We, uh, you know, we didn't have the ability to beat them last year either. Um, so we understand that this is New Mexico State's a, a terrific team. They really are. Uh, to win as many games they have and to, to go through the conference to, to lose their first game at Cal Baptist and then not lose again. They're terrific. Coach Jans does an unbelievable job. So uh, I would say this, that our guys have a level of uh, um, confidence that they know that they can beat them. Now, we understand that we're going to have to play really hard and play really well, but there's no reason that we don't think or these guys don't think uh, that they, they can come in here tomorrow and beat them. And they're such a good team. It's going to take a, a superior effort from everybody. But uh, I've never counted this team out. Like I said, we've, we've had three or four chances this year where things weren't going well. We could have shut it down, and we didn't do it. So uh, we'll come out here tomorrow, and I can just guarantee that these guys will play as hard as they possibly can and give it the best effort. And that's all I can ask. I can guarantee you that.